Hey and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing how to set up a loading screen using the async loading screen add-on. It's free on the Unreal Marketplace. I first came across this add-on on the YouTuber Decryptions YouTube channel, so I will leave a link to his YouTube channel down in the description. So with that, let's get started. So before we get started, we need to do something first. So in your Unreal Projects folder, wherever the project is saved, it's usually in the Unreal Projects. Then you go to the selected project, and then you're gonna go to the content folder. And then in here, we're gonna create a new folder. We're gonna call it Movies. And then after creating the Movies folder, we're gonna open it. And then in here, we're gonna add any videos we wanna use in the add-on. So I have two that I would like to use. So I'm just going to move them over real quick. I can't remember where I got these two from. The blue matrix I got from Pixabay or Pexels. I can't remember which one. And then the UE4 startup, I can't remember exactly where I got that one from. So I can't leave the link to either one of these in the description. And then I'm just going to copy them over to the folder. And then with the two of them in the movies folder, you can now close this. And then you want to open up Unreal Engine. So now with Unreal open, we're going to check and see to make sure that everything is fine so if you go to the content folder you should see one that says movies and if you open this there should be nothing inside it there's nothing wrong it's not an error or anything this is just the way it's meant to be just know that it is in here if you actually if you click on the movies and then you say show in explorer then it should show up like this to show that there is files in here despite the fact that there is nothing in the folder itself but with that, that's fine. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to vehicle template. And then in here, I'm just gonna create two new folders. One is gonna be loading background images. And then the other one is gonna be loading throbber. With these two, the this one over here, the images that I'll be adding in the loading throbber will be the images that I created in the custom loading throbber videos. Okay, so I've brought in the images, then we're going to save all, and save selected, and then we're going to head back, and then we're going to go into the loading background images, and then I'm also going to bring in a couple images, all these images are from Pinterest, and then I'm just going to save all again, and then from here, we now have everything, we're going to go over to settings, and then plugins, and then if you have downloaded and just come in here and look for async, it should be the async loading screen. And then you just select it and then it's going to ask you to restart. Then you have to come back into Unreal Engine, you can close that and go to settings again. Then you go to product settings. And then you'll find over on the side under games, there's an async loading screen. And then in here, you will find everything. It's pretty much just select your options. And then what we have here, we're going to start with the startup loading screen. And then here it says minimum loading screen display time. This is going to be the seconds. So if you leave it as negative one, it will simply close after the level has been loaded. But you can set a time as you want. You can set it to one second, 20 seconds, whatever it is you wish. I'm going to leave it to negative one. And then it says auto complete when loading completes. And then you can select that one also. And it says movies are skippable. We're going to untick that. And then you have wait for manual stop early allow in early startup allow engine tick playback style normal playback and then here it says movie paths we're going to add two new parts and then this is the order in which they're going to be set up so you select one and then two you, that's how they're going to be played when you open the level and you, you can also shuffle them if you want to that is completely optional and then you have things like show widget overlay and then show engine text but first let's get this movie pads done so in the zero i'm gonna add the ue4 startup now important thing to note is that you need to have the name of the of the video exactly as it is in the folder any errors will result in the thing not finding out not finding and utilizing the appropriate file so you need to make sure that it is exactly as it is in the folder now you don't need to add a path or anything like that as long as you put the folder the movies folder in the right place it will automatically know where to go look for it and you just need to make sure that the name you're using here is exactly the same as the name for the, the video itself 
So since I copied both of them beforehand, I can just paste the names in there and then close that. And then here where it says background tip widget, loading widget, we, we can't we don't need to mess with any of this because with the add-on you have the limitation of either you utilize movies or you utilize loading screen images. You can't have both for the startup loading screen. It's either movies or a loading screen with um, still images there's no way you can have both and then that pretty much does it for the startup and then we're just gonna test it out so just minimize that we're gonna save all and then the add-on also the other limitation is that you cannot use it in the editor if you just play through the editor it's gonna play as though the loading screen is not even there what you need to do is come up to the top click on these three buttons and then select the standalone game and then as you can see there it has the video the two videos and then after it's done loading you will then be brought to the main menu that is working and now we're going to continue on with the rest so now we're going to head over to the default loading screen and then here you have the same thing as well i'm going to set mine to 10 seconds just so we can see the loading screen and then it says auto complete when loading is done i'm going to untick that just so that it can so we can see the results and then movies are skippable we're also going to untick that and then we have the same options here again playback movie path you can also use movies for your loading screen we're not going to do that shuffle thing and then we're going to go down to the loading complete text this is where you add text if you would like text to appear on the screen we're not going to do that we're going to go down to the background and then here where it says images, we're going to select five new images because I have five images. And then you just select them all one by one until they are all in. Unfortunately, you can't uh, select multiple and just drag and drop it. You have to do it this way. And then it says image stretch, scale to fit, padding is any kind of padding on the surround, which is the same thing that would happen in something like the widgets the same padding applies here you have the background images we don't need any of that and then here we have a tip widget here you can add tips for the player uh, if you would like to uh, the alternative would be if you have custom background images you can usually have the tips embedded in the image itself then you don't need to utilize the tip widget but if you don't and you would like to use this you can use it i'm just going to add a couple tips but if I add the tips, other settings, you have the color and opacity, you have the font, so you can change the font. For the tips, you have the shadow, so you have like a drop shadow effect that you could add also. And you can also change the color of the shadow and the opacity of it. You have the justification where the text will align. I'm going to set it to the center. And then you have the text wrap at. This is the size of the tip before it's wrapped to the next line. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it applies to if you have really long tips on screen. And then it says set split tip text manually. If true, you will have a manually set text tip index that you want to display in the loading screen. So I'm guessing this is uh, if you would like to adjust them yourself. Obviously, this whole thing is in C++. If you would like to make adjustments, if you're proficient at it, you can do so yourself. So now I'm going to add the tips and then we're going to move on to the next set of options because okay, so i've now added my three tips and now i'm going to move on to the other options we have the loading widget and then here you have your options by the loading icon type you have the throbber circular throbber and then image sequence we're going to use the image sequence because we created a custom loading sequence and then you have loading widget type horizontal vertical i'm going to leave it as horizontal and then you have transformation translation i'm going to leave it at zero for now then we have the transformation scale, we're going to leave it at 0 for now. The transform pivot, we're going to leave it at 0.5 for now as well. The loading text, I'm going to take this out, I don't want it, no need it. And then you have the uh, loading text right position, top position, we're going to untick that. And then we have the appearance, which is just for the text, for the loading text. And then you have your throbber settings, circular throbber settings, and image sequence. Each one corresponds to the type that you have selected. Since we have the image sequence, we're going to go to the image sequence settings. 
and then in here here you can actually drag and drop so we're gonna do exactly that we're gonna head back then we're gonna go to the loading thrower and then just control a everything and then just drag this back and then select the first one and then just drag and drop it over all the images and then now we have all the images selected so it says images so it says array elements just drag and drop it over here and then it's also going to ask you for the scale we're going to leave it as that for now the interval we're not going to match any of this sometimes you might need to make adjustments but we'll find out as we go along and then we have the text alignment we're going to leave this alone for now also and then you have the loading icon alignment as well we're going to leave this at the center and then you have the space we're going to leave it alone and then the hide loading widget when completes we're going to leave that as well and then here by the layout you have five different layouts you have classic center letterbox sidebar and dual sidebar all of those can be found in the documentation for the add-on it will show you exactly what each one looks like with you an example i'm going with the center and then with that we're going to close this again save all and then see how it looks Now as you can see there is a bit of a problem with the image scaling and then the throbber itself so what we're going to do is we're going to close this and then we're going to make some adjustments so firstly we're going to play with the background images so we're going to go to the background and then it says image stretch scale to fit and then we're going to set it to fill and then we're going to close that and then we're going to play with the widget so we're going to set the transformation scale to 0.1 0.1 and then the translation transmission we're going to change i'm going to change this to 200 by 300 mostly just because i know the settings for mine already because i've played around with it but for you you'll have to play around and figure out exactly what it is that you want if you have if you follow the past two videos the custom add-on then the image size for your throttle should be 1920 by 1080 which means you can use these as well because it would be the same so we're going to close this we're going to go over to another map we're going to head over to the garage map now the reason why i went over to the other map is that when you launch it as a standalone it will open in the map that you have in the editor by default so we're going to go with your settings in the product settings it will go with the editor this is just because it's standalone and then this also cuts down on the time that we have to spend before we can see the loading screen again so we're going to head over to race and then sprint and then as you can see the throttle is down here it's been scaled down and then now we have the image that fits properly so that's fine and then close that so everything is working fine but then i saw my tips aren't working so i'm just going to fix that real quick Okay, so I fixed the tip problem. It was simply just a matter of the color and opacity. It was white before, so with the white background for the tip area, I just changed it to black, and then now the tips should show. So we're gonna close this real quick. Oh, also, if you have the same problem like what I encountered with the images taking a little long to show up, you can select the preload background images and then set that to true. And then now if you play the standalone so now you can see the images loading quicker and then your tips are at the bottom and then your throttle will be whatever it is you assigned it to mine is over at the bottom right that is pretty much everything for this video as i said the limitations for the add-on is that you, every time you make adjustments you have to open up the standalone window you can't do it in the editor and yeah that's pretty much it that's the one downside to the add-on but other than that it works fine there's no problems so that brings to the end of this video and until the next one